Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm, I, oh, oh, I can't talk, I feel like I haven't filmed in ages. Not gonna lie, I filmed this intro about 10 times and I, li I cannot talk. So let's try and see how this one goes. So in today's video, I wanted to do this spring drugstore makeup tutorial because I know how much you guys love drugstore makeup looks and I feel like I haven't filmed one in so long. So I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do a drugstore makeup tutorial. And I feel like I haven't done one in so long because I always mix it up between like higher brands and drugstore and I was like, no. In today's video, I'm just gonna focus it on drugstore because it's easy just to go into one shop, get all the products you need for affordable prices. What more do you want? Also, I have two sort of aims for you guys. The first one will sort of goals or missions or challenges, whatever you'd like to call it. The first one, <coughs> Sorry, let's try and get this video to 5,000 likes. Let's try because I want you guys to get more involved in my videos with me and I feel like we should do 5,000 likes. Let's try and get that. And also make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram. I will leave it somewhere on the screen. I don't know whereabouts, but I will leave it on the screen because I literally post on there every single day. I am obsessed with Instagram. I love it. So make sure you guys follow me on there. I post literally everything associated with makeup. <laughs> so, yeah. So if you'd like to see how to create this drugstore makeup tutorial, then please keep watching. So to start off this look, I'm gonna use the NYX Perfect Filter Palettes by NYX. <laughs> and I'm gonna use the shades one and two. I will leave the full names in the description below. And I'm gonna grab the first color here and put this on as a base because you guys know I love just to have a base on before I apply any other sort of coloured eyeshadows because it makes it stay on longer. I'm then going to grab this sort of really light mauvey colour and I'm going to use this as a transition. So I'm going to pop a light amount onto my fluffy brush and I'm just going to pop this onto my crease and then just lightly blend it upwards and downwards so all the lines are seamless and it's not too harsh. So yeah, that's what I'm going to keep doing. And then I'm going to grab these two colours together to make sort of a peachy glittery tone and I'm going to use the same brush and I'm just going to pop this into my crease just to deepen the colours up a little bit more and just to make it a little bit more peachy and I'm going to lightly go on my lower lash line as well and just go all over my lid and yeah and then I'm going to focus on this really light peachy colour and then go over the top of that. As you can see, it's made it a lot darker and the sparkles are so pretty. So I'm just going to pop this in the same place I was, use, I was using, I applied before, just to make it a little bit harsh. And then I'm going to spray my brush with setting spray and then go in with this beautiful glittery pink colour. If you set your brush with setting spray, I think it works better with glittery colours, it will make the pigmentation like 10 times better. Honestly, it's incredible. So I'm just getting this colour and popping it onto my lid. And then I'm going to mix these two shades together as well. And I'm going to pop this over the top. I don't want it to be like yellowy or orangey. I still want it to be pink but with more of sort of a glittery tone. So I like to just dab this one on instead of swiping. And then I'm going to grab this matte pink shade. And I'm going to pop this onto a fluffy... Vanity Planet brush. I have got a 70% of code for you guys, so I will leave that in the description below. If you type in Glam 30, you'll get 70% of these brushes, which is incredible. So all the information to that will be in the description. And then I'm just going back and forth with different sort of brushes to make it more vibrant and blended in. And then I'm going to go in with this shimmery shade, and I'm going to pop this on my tear duct and brow bone, just because I always like to do that. And then moving on to liner, I'm going to use this bourgeois, oh my phone just went off, this bourgeois eyeliner and I'm going to do a winged eyeliner because that is literally my signature look and yeah. If you want me to do like more of an in-depth eyeliner tutorial then let me know. I have done one but I think it was a while back so if you are interested then do let me know because I don't know, I feel like it changes all the time. And then for mascara, I'm using a different one, guys. This is the Million Lashes, I think that's what it's called, by L'Oreal. And I actually really like this. I used this when I was younger, and I love it. And then I'm going to use my favourite lashes, as of lately. Oh, they're literally my favourite. And I think they're from Lash House UK. 
Um, I found them on Instagram and I'm obsessed, so I literally use these lashes all the time. And then excuse this hideously messy uh, blush palette. Oh my god, it's so embarrassing. But yeah, I'm just going to use this to apply some blusher onto my cheeks. It's got a slight shimmer to it and it's just so beautiful. So I love this blusher so much and I li literally mix them all together. And then I'm going to use this Glow Pop by Topshop in the shade Polished. And I'm going to pop a light amount onto my cheeks. Cheekbones? Cheeks? <laughs> um, you guys know I do. And I just love highlighter. And I'm going to lightly blend that in with my finger just to make it all seamless. And so it just blends in really nicely. What I'm then going to do is set my fan brush with some setting spray and then go to some of these. I'm just mixing all of these sort of shimmer. I can't talk. These shimmery shades together. This fan brush is also in the Vanity Planet brush set. You guys know how much I go on about them because for a starter kit, they are incredible. So um, I have got 70% off code for a 15 piece brush set, which is incredible. I will leave it in the description below. And then for lips, I'm going to use this Exaggerate Lip Liner in the shade 18. I think it's called Addiction. I think that's what it is. Um, from Rimmel. It's so, it's such a creamy lip liner. I am obsessed. So I'm just lining my lips with this. And I like to just go really, really lightly before. And then just darken it up and make sort of an ombre effect. If that makes any sense. Because it makes the lips look a little bit bigger and nicer. And then I'm going to use the shade 18 from the NYX Liquid Lipsticks. And I found that this was such a nice combination together. It's so pretty. Really, really spring, summery, and it's not too harsh or heavy. And then I'm going to set all my makeup with some setting spray. This is the All Nighter one by Urban Decay. So guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope you have enjoyed this makeup look and if it's helped you in any way, then let me know in the comments and also give this video a thumbs up. Make sure we can try and get the thumbs up to 5,000 likes. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.